So hello and welcome back. Now today we're on a bit of a weird one. I've managed to win a lawnmower off eBay for 99 pence. All right. Now this lawnmower is real near my house. All right. So uh, we're going to go and get it. I've already paid for it online. Um, but we won this on eBay. So the 99 pence lawnmower. Let's see what we get for 99 pence. All right. So uh, here we go. So this is the 99 pence lawnmower um, with a grass box. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks quite in good condition, uh, to be fair, for how old it is. Um, it doesn't run, and it looks like it hasn't been run for a very long time. And it's a bit stiff when you try and turn it over, but I mean, it might just be the blade catching or something, I don't know. It feels a bit stiff, so we'll have to have a look. But just turn over, so it's more than I thought it did. So yeah, let's get it off. So actually, for 99 pence, I'm very impressed. Um, the photos of it on when it was for sale wasn't very good. I mean, obviously, it was taken in a garage, so you couldn't really see. But I mean, the wooden rollers are good, the blade's good, it turns over, which I didn't think it did. Um, it's a bit stiff though, where the clutch is sticking, I'm not sure. Um, it's all there. It's nice, it's got the original stickers on. Well, most stuff on anyway. Yeah, like I say, it's going to clean up really nicely. Um, I'm actually going to try and get it going. So I've got like two years now before the girlfriend turns up. Oh, they fell down the hole then. Um, so, yes, there's some dirty petrol. I doubt well, there's no petrol in it. 99 pence, so I was being a bit optimistic to get petrol in it, let's be honest. So, yeah. so basically it's got the same carbon as a Suffolk Punch or Suffolk Colt. Um, exhaust is a bit, <laughs> once tightening up I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do you want for 99 pence? <laughs> let's be honest, I mean, wow. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it around to the garage. We're going to see if there's a spark. We're going to blow the car out, clean out the tank, and then see if we can get it to run. And then go from there. I'm not doing a lot to it today. I'm just literally going to see if we get it to start. If this starts, it's amazing, right? So uh, I can't see no reason why it wouldn't at the minute. Like I say, it's very stiff when you pull the pull cord. Um, whether it's, it's because it's been standing or the clutch is slightly engaged all the time, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll have a look anyway. So uh, let's get going. So I don't know if it's going to show up. It's actually got a really good spark on it. Hang on. That's it. It's a bit hard work showing you like that, but you, you get the idea. So it's got a spark already. So um, next thing we do is just uh, clean the car out because I imagine that's bad. Um, should be a gasket in here and I don't know if there is one so we'll uh we'll have a look so if you're wondering why there's another mower in here all in bits um this is not mum's mum's mower is over there to be fair mum's was quite good nick when I bought it it was just a couple of things broken on it I repainted the engine cover and done a few jobs on it to make it really nice well one's a good clean now I do that's a really nice electric start mower that is I think only paid £50 pounds for it and it cost me £40 pounds to repair it, so it was a good mower. You can't knock a hater. Uh, this is actually one I bought for a friend. Um, it's a bit tattier than I'd normally go for. I mean, the aluminium's good on it, it's just tatty. Um, but uh, we've tidied a couple of bits up, but I mean, he's not bothered if it was tatty, so as long as the main frame was solid and it runs and starts, and it's electric start as well, that's all he wanted, so. We haven't done a video on that, but that's why I'm overrun with bits, because I'm waiting for one piece to turn up, which is a new drive belt, and it's not here yet. So anyway, let's get back to the 99p. Um, next thing, like I say, let's clean the carb out with the air compressor and take it off and just give it a blowout and a quick clean, and away we, let's have a go, put some petrol in and see if it'll go. To be fair, it's not as bad as I expected. Um, hang on, let me just take this out of my fingers. Oh. 
So let's have a look at the bottom of the float chamber. I don't think it's light enough. Let's have a look. Is there much dirt in there? Hmm, not really. You can see it's not had fuel in it for a very, very long time. So what I'm going to do is just blow the jets out. Put the float back in and we'll try it, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Right, let me uh, just blow it out the airline. I'll put it all back together again and we'll see. So this is just a basic um, check on this. We're not going mad. Just want to see if there's any oil in it. Um, is there? <laughs> not sure. Um, oh yeah, bloody hell, yeah. Well, if it runs, we'll give it an oil change. But it's got enough oil in it to try it anyway. So. Oh dear. So I've got a bit of a head cold at the minute. I feel a bit ugh. If you know what I mean. I can't believe I won this for 99 pence still. I know I've said it about 20 times, but I'm just so shocked. I, I didn't actually think I was going to... I didn't think it was going to fetch a lot of money. I thought it might only fetch like a tenner or something. Yeah, I didn't expect it to go like, you know, £100 or anything like that. Especially in this time of year. I mean, it's end of spring. Well, it's end of summer, shall we say. Um, I'm just tighten the exhaust up before we try it. Um, you know, I didn't expect it to make a lot of money because it's old. It's just an old lawnmower, isn't it? But, um... At the end of the day, you wouldn't think it'd be that less, you know. I mean, the guy only got 54 pence off time eBay took the charge. So, I mean, 54 pence. And if you're like me and you like restoring old stuff, say you need this piece here and you've got eBay, they want £25 for that with the cable. You're like, what the? You know. So, um, yeah. Let me just tighten the exhaust. So, we can see now if it runs. Now, I can tell you now it's leaking petrol already at the tap. I bet the cork's swollen. Oh, it's already on. I bet that's swollen already. Is petrol coming out? Yeah, look, it's coming out the carb. Right, probably a bit much I put in there, but the, there you go. So let's put the throttle on. Yeah, let's have it about there. Now this is a bit of a, oh, I must have choke on. Now my one used to be half. I'm sure it's closed and that's open. So we're gonna put it on closed. I'll give it a couple of pulls and we'll move it half and Go on like that. So, what do we reckon, people? Do we think it's going to go? Let's have, let's find out. Right, people. I'm doing this on the phone. So bear with me. Um, let's do this before the petrol runs out, shall we? So I managed to get it running once more, but I've noticed, look at this. Uh, that's why that's not working. Uh, it makes me wonder if the clutch is gone underneath, I don't know. But we've had the engine running, so that's a good sign. Considering it was supposed to be seized in the uh, advert, uh, we've done well. We said it, well actually you said it wouldn't pull. Well, it does. <laughs> so um, let me just pop that chain back on. I might just whip that cover off and have a quick look, and then we'll put it back together again. And then we'll have another go. As you can see, it's got a petrol leak. Um, so yeah, leave it with me and we'll have a look. I've now found out what is the matter. The rubber has broken, look at that. And then this is not on obviously, but that is what is the issue. That is why it's not driving. That's why it's not running properly. And that is why it's hard to turn over. Um, so that's not bad, I wonder where we get one in from. If anyone knows, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, it looks quite straightforward to change. Uh, but we'll have to see if we can get one. Right, I'll uh, get back to you in a bit. So when I was getting this out, it was just disintegrating in my hands. You can see it's just, it's just all perished. Um, so I think, to be honest with you, I fixed that, I don't know if when that went, it jammed here and everything, because that all seems to be working and loosened up now. Um, so, yeah. I mean, 
That's all I'm attached to a piece of metal behind me. There we go. So I was taking it with me. Um, so yeah, I think that was a bargain. Now that piece, I found one, five pounds. Um, now the tap has a bit of cork in it. So I'm wondering if putting petrol in it may absorb a bit into the cork and it expands and then it will stop leaking. Because uh, this hasn't been run. That was the first time that started up in a very, very long time. So yeah, so next thing is get another one of these. Now originally there were six bits on here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, this is something that my friend gave me. Paraffin, um, vintage paraffin uh, tub. Um, I put a coat of oil on it so it, you know, oil ranked it, should we say, so it kept it nice. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to order one of those on eBay. So I'm going to put all this back together again. So it might be a couple of weeks before we have a proper look at it and see if we can actually get it so it cuts and it works. Um, because I do want to get this lawnmower finished first for my friend because there's bits everywhere and, you know, trying to do two at once is sometimes a bit of a, a bit of a headache, really. So um, we're going to come back to this. But this is, like I say, this was just a funny little video because I didn't expect to win it. I didn't expect to, it to start. Um, I didn't expect the bloke to actually let me have it for 99 pence. Um, you know, I know you've won it on eBay for 99 pence, but some people might have thought it was worth 50 quid, and they're, you know, they're not very happy, and they're like, oh, no, I ain't selling it for that money. You know, you don't know. So, to me, this was just a bit of fun. All right, so, uh, yeah. So, um, we'll bring you one more video on this. Uh, I'm going to try and get it... I think it'll run fine. I think it'll drive and it'll cook. I don't, I don't see no issues at all. I think all that's happened is that rubber bit has perished... I think one of these chains may have been a bit... I think it had rusted slightly and got a bit hard. And because it had gone hard, it may have finished the rubber bit off. I'm not sure. Or it was knackered already. But it is very cracked. I mean, I pulled it out of my fingers. Yeah, that's how brittle it had gone. So, I mean, if I get away with a £5 rubber piece to put in it, all right, and then just a quick polish and a clean, I mean, that's pretty good for, what, you know, £6. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Um, it's a nice vintage old lawnmower. I mean... Yeah, they're nice, isn't it? Shame to throw them away down a scrapyard, isn't it? Too many people throw good things away these days, yeah? Everyone seems to think that's normal. And I, don't, I, I don't think it is. I, I, I mean, if I worked down the tip, I'd bring half of it home with me. Polish it all up and get it going again. Love it, love it, yeah? But you're not allowed to do that here in England. For some reason, you can't go to the tip and take things, yeah? They've got about recycling, but you're not allowed to do that. That's ridiculous. But um, anyway, ran it over. I will see you all very soon with a new video. Like I say, this one might be two or three weeks away, this video. Depends on how long the bit gets here, because Royal Mail are striking again. Um, so it may get here quick, it may not, don't know. Uh, I just want to get this one finished, obviously, because it's all in pieces everywhere. The big mower at the end, we've only got to test that in the spring. It's pretty much done. Um, and yeah, I mean, then it's just if I find anything else for sale. And with the Jag, tomorrow I may take it to a car show, weather permitting, which I will video a bit of that and put it on. Yeah, but it's a bit weather permitting. I can't guarantee it, all right? So um, I might not even go if it rains. Yeah, I haven't just spent all the mail's polishing it to take it out there in the naff weather, yeah? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a big car to clean, yeah? It takes ages. So until then, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for following me. And thank you for all the messages and that for my birthday not long ago. And I will see you all very soon with a new video. And I hope you all have a great weekend. So I will see you all very soon with the new, new video.